The most shocking fact about splenic injury is that for decades the standard life-saving cure, actually it's a cure, surgically removing the spleen splenectomy, inadvertently, inadvertently sentences the patient to a lifelong risk of a rare but unbelievably, unbelievably fast and deadly infection that can kill a healthy person in less than 24 hours. So the condition is called overwhelming post splenectomy infection, OPSI. It's an abbreviation, O-P-S-I. The spleen is not just a bed of, uh, bag of blood. It's a critical immune organ acting as the body's premature defense against streptococcal bacteria like streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus influenza, and Enseria meningitis. Uh, these uh, bacteria have a, spli a, a slippery polysaccharide capsule that allows them to evade the immune system. The spleen's unique slow filtering vascular architecture is perfectly designed to trap and destroy these uh, specific invaders. When the spleen is removed, the body loses the specialized this specialized defense defensor. If the patient later encounters one of these common bacteria, for example, for a simple respiratory infection, the infection can explode with terrifying speed. It can progress from mild flu-like symptoms to raging seps sepsis, multi-organ failure, and death in a matter of hours, often, often before antibiotics have a chance to work. So a life-saving act with a life's long shadow is, is this is splenectomy. A surgeon can perform a perfect splenectomy, saving a patient from bleeding to death after a car crash, but that single act makes the patient permanently vulnerable for the rest of their life. So it's a lighting fast killer. The speed of OPSI, OPSI, is what makes it so terrifying. It's one of the most fluminant infections in all of medicine. It's a revolutionized trauma surgery. This discovery the, and understanding of OPSI is the single biggest re reason when the paradigm of trauma care shifted dramatically. The old dogma was, if the spleen is bleeding, it comes out. The modern dogma is save the spleen at all costs. This led to development of non-operative management splenic artery embolization, for example, and splenic repair techniques, all designed to avoid creating a patient with a lifelong immunological, immunological vulnerability. Stay blessed.